When's the last time your mind has been blown? My mind's always blown at Coachella. I want to show you guys some supplements. My tattoo removed. Favorite jeans ever. I know what you need, but I want, but I want. want to my bloodline, baby. Get out. Woo! But this top is like my dream top. Last time my mind was blown was cool. I just had my first therapy session. You know how people say like, I'm a Mississippi 10, but I'm an LA too. Then I can go to like a family barbecue. I would roll up and flex on everyone severely. You know, you win some, you lose some. All right, let's get into the vlog. Okay. Hey guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I know you guys have been really liking these and I have been loving to film these. I just want to do this intro and just say, hey, we're going to get into it. So to start, you guys will see me getting laser hair removal and my laser tattoo removal on this tattoo. The reason why I'm removing it is... I just don't like tattoos on me, especially just little random ones. Maybe a full sleeve would be sick. I think when people have full sleeves or full pieces, it's a lot, right? But I still, I don't know, I like that better if you're going for that. I think maybe the really tiny ones, just like one or two, I think is cute in spots on me personally. But this one, I don't like. I would get one maybe on my neck, so I just don't see it, but I know that it's there. I'm not booking appointments, I'm not doing it. I'm getting this one removed. So that's that, you guys can see that process. So you'll see me kind of go back a few days in this vlog. Currently this week, it is Monday, and I do have a pretty exciting week. This is just gonna be another hang with me during the week. I normally do weekends with you guys, but I think a during the week vlog will be really Fun. But right now, I want to show you guys some supplements that I have been loving and I think make a big difference on my mood and my energy along with my diet I've currently been doing, which I'm going to share a whole what I eat or what I eat in a week with you guys. Let's get into my supplements and then we'll actually get into the vlog. With supplements, I kind of go with how and what I feel that I need. So I have a bunch, but like for vitamin D3, I'm not gonna take, it's summertime, I'm getting enough vitamin D in the sun and by being in the sun, so that's good. But I have my collagen, so I'll take one of these. Magnesium makes me very sleepy and relaxed, so I pop one of these at night, so not gonna do that. Vitamin C, 1000 milligrams, helps with my immune system, keeps everything going, good for the skin. If you're traveling, take vitamin C. It'll keep you from getting sick. I swear when I do not take my vitamin C and I get a little out of control, I start to not feel my best. I've been drinking a lot of coffee and L-theanine is so good. I think L-theanine, it can make you shaky because it's from green tea, it can give you like a boost. But I think if you're drinking caffeine, it can like balance out your shakiness. I'm out of my NAC and NMN. So I need to do another order of that. I have it on Amazon. I'll link my Amazon storefronts, the different ones that I have for you guys down below. I've got home stuff, clothing, health stuff, and stuff I use to do my YouTube videos and my videos. This is the 5-HTP. This is a serotonin precursor and it makes you happy. I don't take this every day. I take this maybe a couple times a week when I need it. Because I had therapy today, I like to take this just to make sure I'm like maintaining my happiness. <laughs> this is my Res Veritrol, which is a good anti-aging. I actually haven't taken this one in a while. I don't think I'm gonna take that. I don't want that. I have Demanus. This is basically for maintaining good urinary tract when I'm on my period or I'm just not drinking enough water or if you are sexually active and you're doing that stuff or you don't use the bathroom after you're doing stuff or even with yourself, uh, I don't know if we're going there, but it's good just to take these maybe before if you know you're gonna go into like a date night or something or if afterward just to give that extra support, but I wouldn't take it all the time. And then I'm gonna take some of my sea moss. I cannot eat sea moss. I used to eat sea moss a ton. I can't do it, it's too hard, so I supplement it. And so we're gonna sit here and we're gonna take these out. So here's three. I've gotten so good at swallowing. Those are my supplements. We're gonna take a couple more things that I really like to take. So, the 
this little glass. I normally have my aloe vera juice to mix with this, but I don't right now. I'm just gonna pour a little water. Take a droplet of chlorophyll. This is so good for your blood. It's like your internal smell good. So I'm just gonna take this. Water is secured. Now I'm taking my probiotic Greek yogurt. And what I do is I take like about that much. And then I take bee pollen. And I dump the bee pollen all on the spoon. That much bee pollen. We're gonna take this. It's good. The bee pollen is like sweet, but if you eat it just on its own, it's kind of powdery and weird. So I just like to take it with some yogurt. But yeah, it should be a fun week. I love hanging out with you guys. And um, thank you guys so much for the love and all the comments on my other vlogs. It's been making me so happy to reconnect with you guys. I feel like I lost touch for a second, but we're back and uh, also huge update, I think I had a case of bed bugs. This sounds so disgusting, but I got a brand new mattress when I moved into this new apartment. So it wasn't for my mattress, it wasn't for my couch. I heard they live in the walls. However, I've never actually physically seen a bed bug in my place, but I just got rid of my rug. I washed my entire bedding, everything in the hottest of water and dryer, pillows, everything. And I completely sprayed my entire entire apartment with bed bug chemicals. It's like this really intense spray. I'm gonna show you guys a video of me literally exterminating. That's what I've been dealing with. Last night, I covered my entire mattress in plastic and a cover. So it's completely wrapped and covered in several different layers of stuff. And like I said, there was no actual signs of bed bugs anywhere in my apartment at all. However, my neighbor did say when she moved into hers a year and a half ago, she did have them and she had to spray everything one time and then they went away forever. So I sprayed my entire place. And so I'm gonna have someone come clean now up the residue. There's not much residue. Honestly, the spray was like pretty whatever, but look at these bumps on my body. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but I had them everywhere and they're still healing. There's some like back here, down my legs. Horrible. Honestly, it's been such a trip. So I wanted to just update you guys on that. It's Sometimes when you watch these vlogs, like people are like, it's so glamorous, all these things, like glamorous life, mm, not me, okay? I have a fun, amazing, beautiful life, but I also deal with a lot of shit, okay? And I'm gonna keep it real, and I'm not just gonna show you all the glitz and the glamor and the clothing and everything. I'm gonna show you guys. I live in LA, I live in a cheaper apartment, and this is some of the stuff that you have to deal with. Now, I don't have roaches, and some people do have cockroaches. So, you know, you win some, <laughs> you lose some, all right? Let's get into the vlog, okay? Hello, everybody. Happy whatever day it is for you because that's all that matters is your reality, not mine. What am I getting into? I'm going to get laser hair removal and my tattoo removed. I've been trying to remove this for a few months now. I've done three sessions at a different place and I'm trying this new place. It's still fairly dark, but it does take about a year or two if like sometimes more. We're gonna try this new place. I'm just gonna double down and just every eight weeks just try new places, go to my old place, just keep trying. I'm also going to be lasering my whole body. I've done this, I've done laser hair removal for years and you just need to touch up here and there to really just kill that follicle. So let's go get this uh, stuff removed. wanted to start the vlog here. I've already kind of started my day. I did the gym earlier. I went to a fitting and I got some new clothes, so I'll show you guys that. But I'm just doing my makeup and I kind of want to show you guys what I'm working with today. So I just tried this Summer Fridays Sheer Skin Tint 
You know, it's funny. I thought there was SPF in this. There's no SPF, but it goes on the skin so nice and I love the texture of it. It's very... I would say it's not sticky wet. I hate that sticky wet. I then took, this does have sunscreen. This is the Kosas Dream Beam Sun Lit Sunscreen, SPF 40. I took this and I kind of just put this all around my forehead and just like right here. So that's adding SPF all around my forehead and here. And then to darken it up a little bit more, I took this Morphe Hotspot. It's sun drops, so you can also add this to your foundation. And I'm just gonna like add more why not but it's a darker shade but it's lighter than a contour stick sometimes i feel like contour sticks are really really thick and that's good for going out but i just have some errands to run some videos to film on tiktok and then i'm going to a pilates class and then i'm just gonna have a movie night so nothing crazy but i still want to look put together i now i'm gonna use blush sunscreen this is the nude sticks blush tint in spf 30 i love a watermelon shade mixed with a cool toned pink so this goes a long way, so you have to be careful. I'm just gonna do like that, like that. See how it just buffs out like really nice? It's nothing too, 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 too crazy. And then I'm gonna take this pink color, just blend this in. House Labs powder, and I'm just going to go along my jawline, just right here. I don't like to look super dewy right here, but I like to look dewy there. So I just kind of go like, and then I'll also go in between my brows. There's that. I've always cared about my eyebrows, but not like this. I am crazy about them now. So this is the Milk Makeup Kush High Roller Brow Tent in the darkest shade. And I just comb through my brows. It automatically just gives them like such a nice tint. This is the best brow gel I have ever tried in my entire life. They don't have like a code I can give you or I don't earn commission. There's no link, there's no nothing. So this is Cali C Brow, Brow Flow. And it just, it doesn't leave any residue. I've had stuff leave residue in my brows, like this white crusty residue and I hated it. So this is just so, so good. Your brows will not move through swimming, like nothing. And then I just fill in my brows here. This is the Merit Brow 1990. I love this. Good stuff right here. And then you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a Kosas blush. These blushes are just so beautiful and they're just light. It's nothing crazy. I'm just gonna go over my sunscreen and then maybe a little bit on the forehead. I don't know if you guys have heard of bronzing or bronzer, but this is the most perfect bronzing shade. It's the perfect mix between a blush and a bronzer. I have it linked below, all the stuff I use in this video. I will link but it really just gives that we spent the weekend on the beach or we're coming back from a European summer and it's really nice like I need to get back and do a full makeup look for you guys because it's been so 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 long since I sat down but I think this is just the prettiest shade I'm gonna run this also just in my eyes you know what I love to take this the hourglass brushes are probably some of the best brushes I've ever used and then also I will say this dibs so the two ended brushes are just so great honestly wait a second the it cosmetics brush this is for foundation concealer this is for also foundation buffs out so nicely crazy just like mattifies the skin if you want full just regular powder this for bronzer this for bronzer and blush contour this for blush and contour and this for highlight and or what I'm about to do. Literally, I am obsessed with two, I didn't even realize, now that I'm talking about it, two ended brushes, uh, they're my favorite thing. I think they're so easy to work with and you do not have to be advanced in any of it. Patrick Ta, so I'm just putting this everywhere. Black lash that does not look natural. It's like definitely your lashes are so thick. The Bad Gal Bang Mascara by Benefit. This is your girl right here. I'm gonna put a primer. This is my lash food primer. It's like a collagen thing. I feel like putting a primer on underneath your mascara that can give you some benefits is good because then your mascara isn't just absorbing into your lashes. I did have a lash lift and tint, but it's been about six weeks and it's fading a bit but it's the best lash lift and tint i've ever had in my life normally lash lifts and tints last for me like a few weeks like two weeks it still is there like i did not like i'm not using any lash curler at all so if you're in la i'll put the name of the salon in the screen you have to go there it's unreal i also get my brows done there and they've done an incredible job mapping out my face 
and give me the perfect brows. Look at this mascara, you guys. But do you see what I mean? How it's not this insanely natural mascara. So if you're into the no mascara look, this might not be for you. And you do have to, if you have long lashes like me, you do have to set right above your brows because it will touch and it will leave some residue. Just simple. Now I'm going to do my lips. These Kosas lip pencils are so good. This is in the color Infinite. Just a cute color. And then I just got lip oil gloss. This is in the shade Odyssey. I'm gonna just put a little. I think it's cute. Now I'm just gonna do a little wave to my hair. The only reason why I'm like kind of getting ready like this when you're like, Janelle, you're going to Pilates. What are you doing? Is because I'm going to film some TikToks and I'm going to do an Instagram story. And you're gonna be like, why? Why do you have to look cute? It's for us. Because technically, the people that are on my Instagram are pretty much on my YouTube for the most part. Yeah, I'm just gonna wave out my hair. I got this little ottoman. Look at this little stool. She's so cute. You can open her up and I store the beauty products I haven't organized and put away just yet. I store them in here, so I need to, for now, Leave-in conditioner has been one of my favorite things currently. This smells exactly, this is the Heritage Light as a Feather Leave-in Conditioner. It smells just like Tom Ford Lost Cherry, like to a T. This is obviously more potent, but the smell is pretty much the same. And then I'm just gonna put in some hair protectant. This is also by The Heritage. I like it, it's sulfate free. It has like three of all these crazy ingredients. Let's get some hair protectant. Mermaid. Hair. I'm just gonna quickly, this is like the quickest thing you can do. I just kind of clamp through my hair. It takes like minutes. And I wear my hair in a braid at night. After I wear it straight one day, I wear it in a braid just because it, I don't know, it makes my hair feel softer when I wake up. My hair already kind of has a wave to it. Plus I waved it yesterday. So this is just like an easy, quick fix to look put together. I'm not doing anything groundbreaking. And honestly, because my hair is dirty, this isn't gonna look perfect. So, no crazy high expectations. This is where my hair is at. I wanna show you guys the pieces that I got today. I went to this EBD, EB denim event today and Basically, this girl named Elena, who I've known for a long time, started a brand reworking denim, and now she's made her very own denim, and this was the fall drop. So, I got some pieces, and... All right, so this is the first piece. How, how cute is this? It's full denim. I just think of some loafers and some cute frilly socks. This dress, I love it. This set, okay, I'm wearing white underwear, so it's not helping. I would wear nude underwear. Well, look how cute this is. It's like a bell, like a bell bottom pant. This is so, so darling. I had nude underwear on with it earlier and it looked way better. Obviously, I wouldn't do just white undies. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, these denim jeans. Are you kidding? These are amazing. I'm obsessed with these. <laughs> I'm back from picking up my Revolve order, dropping off, going to the store. I was gonna show you that, but it's literally me going like this in and out of my car like crazy. But I wanna show you some of my Revolve picks this month. I've been limiting my closet to blacks, whites, denim, neutral colors. It makes it easier for me with a smaller closet here to just mix and match. I used to do all the colors and everything like that, but I think I like pops of colors with accessories. I have an all white lace outfit from Evie Denim and I want to wear these with it. So these are, these are so, so cute. Oh! So I got these in a size six. I think also with just jeans, like anything. My color palette is sage green, light pink, black and white, and sometimes red. Sorry if you hear like noise, the neighbors and people around me are out. That is cheap LA living for you. I have these Steve Madden tie-up shoes that I have tromped and ran around in for forever. Basically, I was like, it's time for a new tiny kitten heel. Tiny little heel. 
just tie up. I think the tie up still gives it that sexiness if you're wearing like a mini dress or it can be just like hidden under your jean, but I love these. Into it. What more could you ask for? This blouse, I'm so excited for. Look at this. Oh! I just did only a few buttons because I wanted to show you this, but this top is like my dream top. This is just so cute. Let's continue though. I needed a new plain and simple all white cardigan cropped. This cardigan is so soft and just so cute. Self-explanatory. I can mix and match it with so many things in my closet. I don't know if you've heard, but capris are in and they're back. So I just got these gingham capris. I think they're gonna be very cute. Like imagine with like a red heel and a white top, black heel, just a white cropped cardigan. I mean, the options are endless with this. I think these are darling. I'm really excited for that. This vest. Do you see this vest? Oh my gosh. And the buttons are like a seashell. You guys, you can't make this up. This is something I would literally keep forever in my closet. Button it like this. And you can just also leave it open. I feel like with a lace bra and you can kind of give it some some cleavage. That'd be really cute. With my, I, I might just keep this on. This is too, this is so freaking cute. The quality is unreal. I think this is probably one of my best revolve hauls I have done yet. I think as I've kind of shifted and changed my style, the quality of what I'm picking and just the looks are better. Maybe I'm crazy, but this is just how I feel about it. This is so, so cute. Jeans, I could do black lace pants, kind of see-through maybe. Sheer pants to like make this sexy or trousers. Jeans with this belt, jean shorts. These shoes, I mean, I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm so proud of myself. This is so, so fun. Oh, this was a set, again mix and match. So the top, how cute. Just like your average kind of sweater knit top going into fall. I know some of you may hate to hear that, but we are in August and I do think of fall in August. I know. But this is really cute then with like jeans, boots, and a nice little coat. I think it's darling. It still kind of gives the youthful vibe mixed with it can still look classy. I, I like that. And it did come with little shorts because we are still in summer, Janelle. And these are just some like rollover shorts. I can mix and match this with a tank top and tennis shoes and be running out and about. And then a cardigan, like a white cardigan with a white tank. Opportunities are endless. I love, I love this. This is from More To Come and it's more of an affordable brand on the Revolve website because Revolve can, if you do know, get pretty expensive depending on what you're looking at and what you're purchasing. I'm so, I'm in love. Okay, wow, this was not the material I was expecting, but holy cow. <laughs> Do you see this sweater? This sweater is a beautiful taupe, just neutral with black. It's so heavy and slinky. This is so gorgeous. What? Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. And it's not too, too long and you can tuck it into some shorts. I could wear mini black shorts. I feel like you could make like a really tiny mini black short, tuck this into the front and then wear a kitten heel or just some tennis shoes. You could make this really street style, very preppy or very sexy preppy. Yeah, and I love to make things sexier than they should be. It's just me. Two more pieces and then I promise you I'm done. This is more for fall, but I, I liked this. This is just like an off the shoulder black tight dress. Pretty mini and it flares out. It's like tight around the waist and then it flares out here again. I think a really high heel I could wear this with cause I like how it can be very mini and short. And then yeah, it's like off the shoulder, super tight black dress. I just need stuff like this in my closet to throw on for events. It's so easy especially since I don't have a ton of space in my apartment. I did just get a storage unit this past weekend and stored some stuff, but I don't wanna be going up there every day. Okay, you guys, my favorite, favorite boyfriend jean came back into stock. I wear the crap out of these jeans. Basically the color and the style has been sold out on the Revolve website for months, like almost a year. I have the size 24. It drags on the ground because I am a shorty McGee. I thought I was a 24, but it just depends on the jean if I'm a 24 or a 23. My gains, I've been working on trying to get my gains in the gym, you guys. 
I am working on it. But these are a 23 because I wanted them to fit better in the waist. It's just the most beautiful soft pair of denim I have ever, ever owned in my whole life. These are the new Revolve denim. So see how like kind of big these, and trust me, I am not a true, a true, true 23, but these, I just wanted them to be a little, they're baggy for sure. But the other ones, when I tell you they drag, perfect low rise jean, and you can belt them. They're just, they're so, so, so nice and so comfortable. These are a little bit lighter. I really like these though. These are both like, they're so comfortable. Girlfriend, EB Denim, both amazing. Unreal. Are these my original ones? Yeah, these are my original girlfriend ones. These are 24. See how they're like, these are actually cool because they hang really low. So if you really want like a low, low, I actually, I like this too. This is really cute. So if you want something really low and really saggy, size up. These are actually pretty saggy too. Honestly, the style and the color, don't, like it's so sick. I wouldn't wear it with this top per se, Maybe if you want to belt it and have a baggy look. Favorite jeans ever. I'll have them linked. <laughs> okay, I might as well just show you guys these capris. Stop it. Come on, capris. <gasps> okay. I wouldn't wear it with this top, but these capris are so, so cute. I'm obsessed with these. Uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> just wanted to show you. I'm gonna get ready for the little movie premiere I'm going to tonight. So I'm gonna do a little quick makeup look. So I'll show you guys some makeup products that I'm using. This is gonna be a hydrated, long-lasting makeup for humidity. I'm using the One Size Primer. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. I love this stuff, it's so pretty. Look at this. This is so, so pretty. House Labs Concealer is so good and it's super thick. Kosas Powder, I'm going to set with a light pressed powder before I do a loose powder. I feel like this just sets my concealer so much better. Keeps my eye bright. Now this House Labs Loose Powder. I'm just gonna set like around my jawline. Hourglass Bronzer. I said that's so weird. Hourglass Bronzer, this. You can get any one of their bronzers. Like, I'm just gonna show you guys, like, the bronzing effect. And we're gonna go, maybe it might be too much bronzer, but make it work. I just love looking super bronzed, especially in the summer. Tan and confident, duh. Look at these two blush shades. This is the shade Moment and Whim. We're gonna go in with the pink one first. We're gonna mix it with the orangier one. So, orange one. This blends out to be the prettiest Summer blush, like ever. Same thing with this side. Just gonna. Taking some of this all nighter spray. I love this. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Watermelon Fruit Extract Spray. Smells good, it hydrates you, and it makes everything sign sealed, delivered, baby. And then we should do like a really good highlight. For the eyes, I'm gonna use this OG Naked palette. Maybe I'll do some revenge makeup. This is the Max Stack Primer. It goes on white, but it makes your lashes insanely long. You can see the white, like brush all the bottom, and then I'm gonna brush down to only brush back up again. Some medium individuals, flash glue and just a pen. Should I do bottom eyeliner? I think I should, just in the... I have this MAC one, this is called Oh Darling. Urban Decay has been like, I guess, at the forefront of my brain. Let's do Naked too. Dang, I forgot how pretty this color is. You guys, look at this color. The theme of this project for me has been expect 
the unexpected. <laughs> I expected to cry, expected to feel all the feels, uh, but I was laughing a lot more than I expected to. And I think that the brilliance of this story uh, that one day you'll be able to watch. <laughs> wanted to touch on this topic because it's fresh in my mind and I know some of you guys are like don't vlog and drive so I'm gonna be watching the road while talking to you guys about this because it's right here at the top of my mind. I just had my first EMDR therapy session. This was my first session and I definitely cried. I did something else one time that moved energy through my body and pain and trauma and it was Reiki. It wasn't for me, but I, I bawled my eyes out during that. It wasn't my thing though, I'm not going back to that. This is a little bit cooler and more my speed because to start the therapy, she had had me look around the room called orienting, discovering your environment. She's like, yeah, look at the smile on your face. Like, where do you feel that that makes you happy? What kind of happiness? So she's like, this is gonna be your safe spot for when we're doing the therapy. She's like, even when you're in other rooms or you step outside of your house, look around and find where you find that safety, that happiness. Like that's kind of how you can like calm yourself and self-soothe. That's the first thing we did. And we talked about when I got sick um, a few weeks ago in another vlog, I talked about how I was down so bad. I got really sick for like six days. I have no idea what happened to me, but I was sick. And I was coming off of a really traumatic two weeks. I'm kind of been going through something that I feel like maybe you guys can get a hint of what it is, but honestly, I don't really expect you guys to know either because there's so much to it. And hopefully one day I can be so open and talk about it because that's how I really connect with you guys is sharing stuff like that. But I went through something really traumatic and then got really sick. She was having me and she's like, when you were laying in bed really sick, how are you? So I told her the two positions. She's like, so try to get into that position. And one of the positions was holding a pillow. So she had me get into the position where I was holding a pillow and kind of coddling it. I don't want to make this rant too, too long because this vlog is pretty long, but I just started to cry. I felt a tightness in my stomach. So they ask you how your body feels and is responding to certain things you're talking about. So that way you can think about releasing that and letting that go. It was interesting. I, I cried and nothing crazy, just tears rolling down your cheeks type of cry. In EMDR, there's, a, there's moments of silence. So you can kind of let that out. Sometimes there's noise making, sometimes you don't talk at all, sometimes you talk. I know I I kind of knew that going into it but also this is just like a beauty event by the ocean I'm not like about to like club it or fist pump take it or leave it you gotta take it or leave it like uh -huh. Bloodline, baby, get out! Woo! Guys, this is Anna. Tell, give them a quick fun fact about yourself. I'm Slovenian. Are you? Yeah. 
Oh. So I'm at last name. Wait, wait, cray cray. where's that where's that from? Slovenia? Yeah. That's a country. Next to Italy and Croatia. That's so exotic. Fun fact for you. <laughs> Alright, where are we going? We're going to Broad Street. Ooh, you brought me to get some lobster? I see everyone on TikTok. I hate saying that. It sounds so stupid. No. Everyone on TikTok gets the lobster roll with caviar and uni. Yeah. But that's like three thousand dollars. <gasps> so I'm just gonna get it with caviar. Why does this look like that oh, looks like to me. Oh, Stop. All right, Anna. Anna. Oh my gosh, she's got her, she's got her roll. This better be the best thing I've ever put in my mouth. How much did you spend on it? Fifty bucks. I, everyone's just scamming me these days because I let them, I guess, to pick it up and lose some of these soldiers. Fry. Ooh, fries are good. No try fry. That is like the type of fry that you expect to have when you have fried seafood. That looks like a proper fry. Proper fried shrimp. Mmm. You want to try one? Yeah, sure. Try one. Is it like a proper amount of mm, meat? It's not too breaded. Mm -hmm. I hate when you get something and it's like too fried. Like you want the meat on there. I have a hot take. It's good, but I can probably guess how much you pay for this, and it's probably not. Yeah, tell me. What's the price of that? How much was this? Like 30 bucks? It is a good piece of fried shrimp, but you could find the same that I've had in Mississippi for probably at least half the price. That hits them. Mm. We almost went to Nobu, but I was like, I've really been wanting this lobster roll. I'm not letting, literally, this is like, that's $10 right there. $10. Inhale the vinegar. Yeah, what does that do? It just adds a little tang. Uh huh. Have you had other lobster rolls other places? Oh, yeah. And maybe it's because I'm a little sick right now. Oh, they do. Maybe since I'm a little stuffy, I'm not tasting that well. Mm -hmm. But it's not really anything special than other lobster rolls I've had, I will say. I love no. it. TikTok, because I was like, this looks fire. And it is. It's not bad. But it's not blowing my mind. When was the last time your mind has been blown? Probably Coachella. My mind's always blown at Coachella. Last time my mind was blown was two weeks of mm. doing what? Cool. I was like, I don't know if it's Haley Bieber's baby shower in Nobu, but we were just fucking sitting out there, and I don't know why. Literally, who else, who else is driving to Malibu from yeah. LA on a Thursday? At, on a Thursday at 2 p.m. Doing the most right now is this diet. I, when I tell you diet coke over any alcohol, I'm really trying to not drink right now, so. Same. And hot girls, hot girls don't drink. I'm trying to finish my protein. Also, that is probably true that hot girls don't drink. They don't. I know one of these days I'm probably gonna have to retire for good. But I feel like now being an adult and having more life stress, including your job and paying bills and stuff like that, it's easy to be like, I'm gonna go and drink this weekend, or I'm gonna have a glass of wine when I get home from work tonight. Oh, like a little escape. Fuck yeah, an escape. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm too stressed by life all the time, especially living in this city. I feel that. Everything. Dude, it's so expensive. Well, you know how they say it's like, you know how people say like, I'm a Mississippi 10, but I'm an LA 2, or whatever? Wait, who has said that to I don't know. I, oh, I don't know. Someone probably has. People be saying out of pocket shit to me all the time, but at this influencer event, it was very easy to feel like, a two and then really everyone is just like well manicured and sexy and dressed well, well and wearing designer and really always done up all the time but then i can go to like a family barbecue like some of my exes i've dated i would think i would dress? roll up and no. flex on everyone yeah. like severely i'm probably gonna ho go home and and fall asleep because i'm I have a bit of a cold you need to sleep i do really need to sleep I'm so annoyed. I've been well away. today. You need I'm to sleep. A... Thank you for coming to our TED Talk. So what would you give it out of 10? I'm going to say 7.2. This is like I Honestly, I was incredibly over underwhelmed. Especially no, for paying 50 bucks. I'm kind of pissed. I'm kind of, my rating is low enough that I'm pissed off. Wait, like what is your rating though? We just have to know. Tell the fans. 10 being the best lobster roll I've ever had. I mean, I would just say a, a five, an easy five, Ooh. because it was just very average. All right, and on that, she needs to sleep. I know. That. Love you.